everybody, this is Christine at Stay in Touch. Today I'll be showing you how to create a reservation in Rover. To begin creating a reservation, select the sidebar menu. Select Front Desk, and then Create a Reservation. In an effort to make booking a guest as fast as possible, the Front Desk agent only needs the guest's arrival and departure dates to begin pulling rates within Rover. You may select the dates directly on the calendar or enter the number of nights in the space provided. However, if you have additional details, the front desk agent can indicate the guest's desired room type, enter the guest's name or the name associated with the reservation, whether or not the guest's reservation will be linked to a company, travel agent, group, or allotment. The front desk agent may also enter the group allotment or promo code. A code will immediately be adjoined to the appropriate group if a user begins entering a search query in the space provided, as you can see in this example. And in cases where the guest qualifies for a member rate, the front desk agent may check the box in the member section and make a choice from the options provided. However, for this example, we'll remove those details and start by checking in a guest with just their stay dates and first and last name. When ready, the user will need to select Find Rooms and Rates. Rover will display any matching search records if the guest has a profile already saved within Rover. If the guest has no previous record with the hotel, like in the case for Connie here, the user can opt to select the New Guest button. From here, the user can include some basic details about the guest and save a new card that can be retrieved within Rover in the future. However, if the guest has no records within Rover and the front desk agent does not wish to enter the guest details at this very moment, the user can proceed directly to the Rooms and Rates page. Once on the Rooms and Rates page, you will want to make note of some of these settings as they can help during rate selection. Starting from the top of the page, make note of the group, company, and travel agent cards. Details would be immediately retrievable from the respective card if we had made note of this from the first page of the reservation creation process, keeping in mind that each card is marked with an icon assisting the user with locating a particular card. Below these cards, Rover allows the user to check the box beside the Closed Rates section. Based on the particular Rover user's permissions, the user may or may not be able to select a closed rate for the guest. And if the user needs a quick reminder, the guest stay dates will display when this box is marked. From the Rooms and Rates tab, we can choose to display rates by room type, rate type, or by recommended rates. The Recommended Rates tab is useful in cases where your hotel has special rates or promotions you'd like your team to promote first. Even more useful in a pinch, the Front Desk Agent can select to toggle back and forth between the rates and calendar display. The calendar view is useful for browsing through your property's month-to-month -month room availability. Mousing over a date will reveal the details of that room rate selection for the particular day. You will notice beside each rate there are orange chevron arrows. These arrows include more details regarding the room and or rate type. Any specific information you'd like to display for a rate or room can be configured within Rover as well. Once the user identifies the right rate for the guest, click the Book button. After the agent clicks Book, Rover will navigate to the Add-on screen. On the screen, the front desk agent can make a selection from different packages your property offers. Again, this is fully customizable for your hotel, but in this example, we have set add-ons for anything from strawberries to roll-away beds. Now, because we've entered our guest name and contact information at the start of the process, we proceed directly to the guest details and payment screen. However, if we had opted to bypass including those details, this is the point during reservation creation where Rover would require the user enter some basic details about the guest, including their name and email address. Now for a quick overview of the guest details and payment screen. You can think of this page as the reservation summary for the guest. Rover will auto-display the guest confirmation number and their nightly room rate in the following areas. If you'd like to enter the arrival and departure time for the guest, you may also do so by selecting the drop-down arrows here. There are two buttons that I'd like to point out to you now as well. These are the Billing Information and Demographics buttons. The Front Desk Agent would want to select the Billing Information to set up specific bill routing for the reservation. 
The Demographics button allows the user to track the various characteristics about the guest, such as the reservation type, market, source, and origin of booking. Also, most importantly, in order to confirm the reservation, the front desk agent will need to indicate the guest payment method for the reservation. We do like to point out that Rover does not save whole credit cards in our system. After a guest card is swiped, Rover passes that information to the payment gateway. The payment gateway encrypts the guest credit card and passes an encrypted message back to Rover. As a result, Rover only holds the encrypted or tokenized information that the payment gateway produces. This eliminates any potential concerns regarding PCI compliance. A quick aside in cases where the guest is paying with a credit card and has stayed at your property in the past, like in Lisa Ray's case, Rover will pull previously saved credit card information and auto-load it here, eliminating the need to re-enter the guest card. And there is always the option to add a new card. Back to Connie's reservation. Once your payment method is selected, click the Continue button when you are ready. On this last screen, the front desk agent can review the reservation and specify if the confirmation email should be sent to one or multiple email addresses. As you can see, the user can choose to not print the guest rate, and if you'd like to enter a unique personalized message that will appear in the guest confirmation email, the front desk agent may opt to enter a special note here as well. Just click Confirm Reservation, and you're done! The reservation is confirmed and the front desk agent can proceed to the guest stay card or navigate back to the dashboard screen if desired. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have questions, please email a member of our support team or learn more by checking out our knowledge base.